I made a liver smoothie, the first of its kind in the world. And even better, it's a collaboration with Erewhon in Los Angeles. I'm gonna take you guys inside. We're gonna order one. I'm gonna show you what's in it and then tell you why you should be eating liver smoothies or animal-based smoothies because they are the best. And I heard that in honor of the animal-based smoothie collab that we're doing, the first one ever, Erewhon is going to stop sales of all the Beyond Burgers and all the vegan foods for the next month. Let's go. Look at this. Look at this, guys. See, here's the sign. Dr. Paul's raw animal-based smoothie. Let's do it. I want to get yes. one of those. Okay, cool. Anything else for you today? Extra liver. I want to put extra, extra liver, liver in. Extra liver in my smoothie. Okay, cool. Anything else for you? That's it. Okay. And then can I get a knee? It's Paul. Paul. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> cool. It's actually very popular. And is it? Yeah, it is. A lot of people are trying to get it. I'm super stoked yeah, about it. I know. I'm really like, excited about it. Good. We were here the other day for the meet and greet, and there were hundreds of people here. Yes, I was here. Yeah, it was I amazing. Was there was a line like around yeah. the block. Yeah. What are people? Are people like a little triggered by it? Are vegans yes. getting okay. triggered? Yes. Yes. Tell me about it. it. Yeah, they're like beef organs. Like what? And then I'm like, well, it's not that bad. Someone else told me that it's actually really healthy for you. Yeah, it's super so, healthy for you. Yeah, and I didn't know that. So uh -huh. I was like, I'm learning something new every day. Uh huh. You know? But yeah, I was like, basically, the vegans are like. <laughs> I actually had one vegan get it. Really? Yeah. One vegan got it? Yeah, one vegan got it. And what did they think? They didn't tell me anything. Uh, I know, I didn't catch her. A after. secret. Yeah, I know, it's a secret. But she was I, very intrigued by it. She really? Like, I want to taste it. And I was like, yeah. Because you can't. Have you tried it? No, I haven't. Oh, you can try it. I'm going to get okay. one today. You can try it. Okay. But you can't taste the beef organs yeah. in there at all. It tastes like blueberries. It tastes like blueberries and banana and honey. Okay. That's basically, okay. and kefir. That's what it tastes nice. like. You cool. can't taste the beef organs at all in there. Nice. So amazing. Oh, then. cool. Awesome. And I think when she's ready, we're going to go back and yeah. watch her make it. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's so cool that a vegan got the smoothie. We did a meet and greet here the other day at the Venice store and at the Studio City store. And multiple people came up to me as part of that and told me they were vegan for four years, six years, ten years, and felt so much better when they had started including animal foods in their diet again. So that was amazing to hear. And yeah, it's just awesome that, uh, that the movement is happening, that at a plant-based predominant thinking place like Los Angeles, like Venice in Los Angeles, that Erewhon is excited to collaborate and do this and that people in grocery stores like this are beginning to wake up and realize that animal foods are uniquely valuable and incredible and nutritious and taste amazing in a smoothie. And you can't even taste the organs in the smoothie. It has hardened soil beef organs, which is desiccated organs, freeze dried organs, and it has hardened soil colostrum. Tons of benefits to colostrum gut health, immunologic benefits, muscle recovery, exercise performance. Colostrum is amazing and beef organs is heart, liver, kidney, spleen, and pancreas. So it's cool that we were able to kind of sneak it into the smoothies. People are getting organs without even knowing about it. They're getting all the benefits of the organs. So I'm going to show you guys how it's made. All right, let's go back behind the smoothie bar at Arrowon. This is VIP stuff. Let's go. Look at this. Those are two somebody ordered and we're going to see a fresh one here. All right, so we got the raw kefir from Raw Farms. All that good stuff in there. Lacuma powder, that's powdered berry from the Amazon. So we got the organ powder. This is the beef organs, which is this one from Hardened Soil Supplements. Heart, liver, kidney, spleen, and pancreas. A little bit of magic sea salt. Bananas and blueberries. Raw honey, that's the good stuff. We're gonna blend that up. There's this whipped maple colostrum coconut cream. So that has the colostrum from hardened soil, the immuna milk, and whipped coconut milk with maple syrup. Ooh, that's good stuff. And the, the thick smoothie goes in there. That's legit. So many good nutrients in there between the raw kefir, the beef organs, the colostrum, the bananas, the blueberries, the lacuma. And then we get more of the whipped maple colostrum coconut cream on top. A little more maple syrup. That's the magic. That's the magic right there. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, I got a question for you. Yeah. How much of this do you make every day? Uh, actually like 10 ounces. Oh, I have like PTSD with this stuff. Yeah. I used to do so much wheatgrass, and then one day I just couldn't do it anymore. I can't believe people eat grass, but it's hilarious. The people who do it, they come every day. I know, they're into they're it. But I did it every day, and then one day it just hit me like a freight train. I was like, oh, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. It makes me nauseous. I can't even smell Maybe it. Maybe you had some like bad moldy. I just, I think it's all the alkaloids in there, like all the defense chemicals, but it's hilarious to me that humans try and eat grass. But I saw this over here and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> giving me PTSD. All right, cool. 
None of that. There's no wheatgrass in my smoothie. None of that. Thank you so much. Of course. All right, guys. This is the moment of truth. We're gonna taste test it. This is the unboxing. I mean, it looks beautiful. Look at the color of the blueberries, coconut cream. Look at that. I think it's amazing. It's super good. It, you can't taste the liver. <laughs> I said it was a liver smoothie, but the beef organs in here, you can't taste them at all. It basically tastes like blueberry, banana, honey, kefir, which is fermented raw milk from these guys from Raw Farms. The coconut cream on top with colostrum is incredible. It tastes amazing. And like I said, I am over the moon stoked that Erewhon wanted to do this collaboration, that Erewhon is excited about this, that people are digging it, they're curious. A vegan even tried it. We had hundreds of people here the other day for the launch. And I feel like this is without a doubt, this is a controversial statement, but I'm gonna make it. This is without a doubt, the most nutrient dense smoothie on the menu at Erewhon. There are no plant-based milks in here, so there's no carrageenan, there's no almond milk, there's no oat milk. You guys know I'm not a fan of almonds or oats, bullshit. They're seeds, they have anti-nutrients, digestive enzyme inhibitors, oats are full of saponins, oats are full of pesticides, oats are full of phytic acid, oats are full of heavy metals, grains are full of those things in general. A lot of the plant milks are full of carrageenan, an emulsifier that's damaging for the human gut. What is in here is raw kefir, so it's raw milk fermented. The raw kefir is from Raw Farms. That's a farm in Fresno that does all raw milk, raw cheese, and raw kefir. We just came back from visiting the farm. It's incredible there. The way they take care of the cows, the way they ensure quality and safety of the raw products is, in, is second to none. I've never seen anything like it. This is an amazing raw milk product, raw kefir. It's, it's so good for humans and it tastes amazing and it's safe because they test every batch. There are multiple observational studies showing that kids who grow up on or off farms who drink raw milk have lower rates of asthma, eczema, allergy, hay fever when they're adults. So raw dairy is clearly beneficial for humans. It's consumed by tribes all over the world. The Samru, the Maasai, treasured source of unique nutrients, calcium, vitamin K2, choline. It's just a great way to get your nutrients and to get your calcium. And then we add the beef organs to it from hardened soil. So you get heart, liver, kidney, spleen, and pancreas, which you won't even taste. You get colostrum, which is the first milk from cows full of immunoglobulins, immune factors, peptides, almost spilled it there. Valuable for gut health, immunologic function, recovery. Coconut cream is delicious, good saturated fats in there, maple syrup, honey. These are good sources of sugar for energy, for nutrition, for kicking ass, whatever you wanna do. The beef organs in here are probably one of the coolest parts of the smoothie. That's heart, liver, kidney, spleen, and pancreas. If you guys have seen any of my content, you know how valuable organs are in the human diet. I love meat, I'm a huge advocate for red meat. And even red meat doesn't contain all the nutrients you really need to thrive. But when you combine animal foods like meat or eggs with organs, heart, liver, kidney, spleen, and pancreas, you're getting so many unique nutrients that are hard to find other places. Riboflavin, anserine, taurine, choline, vitamin K2, vitamin A in a bioavailable form, selenium, manganese, biotin, folate, peptides that are unique to liver or the other organs. So getting organs in your diet, I mean, that is going to change the quality of your life. That is going to help you feel better, more energy, recover better. It just upgrades you as a human. It's the birthright we all deserve as humans. Our ancestors have always eaten organs. They've always prized the whole animal. And we've forgotten about it today. We don't eat organs. We think they're gross or icky or weird. And I love eating fresh liver. I didn't always. When I started eating raw liver, I gagged the first time. And now I love it. It's an acquired taste, but there are so many nutrients. When I eat raw liver, I can feel it. I can feel the energy, I can feel the vitality. If you guys don't wanna do raw liver, you can't find it. That's why we created Heart and Soil and you're getting all the organs in here, but you can't even taste them. So whatever works best for you, do it. Get organs in your life, either fresh, get them freeze dried like Heart and Soil, but they're in the smoothie and you can put them in your smoothie however you like. I'm super stoked about it. Hope you guys will come out to Erewhon. If you're in Los Angeles, come try it. But even if you don't make it to Los Angeles, you can make it at home. Bananas, blueberries, honey, raw milk or raw kefir throw in some beef organs from hardened soil, throw in some colostrum, throw in some fresh liver, and then top it with a little bit of coconut cream and maple syrup, and that's it. But it's the first animal-based smoothie ever created, one of a kind, hopefully there'll be more in the future. And like I said, Erewhon is, is stoked about it. People in Los Angeles, in this mecca of plant-based thinking, are getting excited about raw milk. It's a raw milk renaissance, it's an organs renaissance, and I'm super stoked that they're gonna stop selling vegan products here for the next month. 
I mean, that may or may not be true, but I'm believing it. In my mind, it's true. So make an animal-based smoothie. Let me know what you think of it. Put it in the comments. If you guys like the content we're doing on YouTube, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. It's how we spread the message of the benefits of an animal-based diet with everyone. And that will hopefully lead to more people feeling good and thriving. So see you guys soon.